Hi, in this video, we will see how we can create free Windows VPS with RDP. So let's get started. To create a free Windows VPS with RDP, we need two things. One is on GitHub account and another is on NGROC account. I'm not going to show you how to create a GitHub account or NGROC account in this video. You just need to create on account for GitHub and on account for ngrock and then you can start watching this video to know how to do that that means how to create free windows vps with rdp from your github page we just need to create a repository first we can press this button to create a repository create a new repository any button is fine so once you click here github will bring us this type of window or prompt here we need to type a name of our repository for example i am going to type rdp02 you can use any name whatever you like then must choose this as a private repository now the final step to press this button create repository just click over there and then the repository is ready for you and in this way we can finish our first step to create a repository now we need to configure our authentication we can easily do this from settings tab so here on the further right side we will see settings just click over there and left side you will find couple of menu options are there one of the option is secrets and variables just click here it will be expanded and you will find another menu is there from here you will find actions is there so we just need to press this thing or click here and right side we will find this type of thing we need to create a new secret we are going to click this button and then it will bring us this type of form here we need to type the name i am going to type the name of this secret is like ngrock underscore auth underscore token now we need to assign the value of this token that means the secret value so i am going to jump to the other website which is called ngrock to get the value from there so once we jump to that website after logging we will see there is a menu is there setup and installation we just need to click here and then from here we have to choose windows once we click windows we need to scroll down a little bit and then we will find a line like this we just need to copy the entire line and then we have to paste it we don't need all of the values i'm going to remove the first part and keeping only the secret value for that and finally we need to press this add button and it will be saved now we just need to switch the other tab which is called actions once you click actions then it will bring us this step of page and here we will find on link is like that using this link we will set up the workflow we just need to click here and then it will bring us this type of page in this page we just need to write all the workflow code here this is yml file format and here we just need to write couple of commands you can easily get this command from the link down to this video i'm going to copy the code i mean the necessary code to build the workflow from this link you, you can easily get i told you from the link down below so here is the code for that file i'm going to copy the content of this file you need to copy the whole file if you don't do then there will be some issue right click and then i'm going to copy it and then and finally i'm going to jump to our github repository and i'm going to paste it once we paste it it's time to save this code i'm going to press this commit button once we press this commit button this type of window will come again press the commit settings and it will be saved now it's time to run this script again i'm going to jump the action tab and it will bring this type of menu ci-rdp just click there and right side you will see some changes are happening here you will find creation uh, create main.ml file just click here to run this process i'm going to click here to start this process i mean the workflow and we'll see the build is happening if we click here again then we can see the details of that build and here we are seeing everything is running we must have to wait otherwise we'll face some issue we are almost ready to access our new bps just jump to the ng rock website because we need the details i'm going to jump here and then i'm clicking the endpoints and here we are seeing this link just click 
here and it will open this type of page. From here, we just need to copy the URL. I'm going to copy this thing. And finally, I'm going to open the remote desktop software from Windows. Remote desktop software connection, this software. I'm seeing this is there. We are just going to click here to open it. And finally, we need to paste the URL which we just copied and then press the connect button. Here it will ask the username and password which we are seeing the below and we just need to type it here username and password and this must be accurate otherwise there will be some issue. So I'm going to type the username as runner admin A is the capital and password is the password which you are seeing in the black screen. So you have to type exactly once you type it you can also verify whether you type it wrongly or correctly. If it is correct then it's time to press the ok button and see the action. Here again we have to type I mean click yes button and then the windows VPS will be open shortly and here you go. This is the windows VPS which we are trying to do from the beginning and we are accessing through RDP and here we are seeing everything is there. Let's check whether the internet is working properly or not. I'm going to open Google Chrome browser in this virtual computer or VPS server. Now let's check whether we can browse any website or not. So I'm going to access one sample website like google.com or for example youtube.com. So I'm going to type youtube.com and let's say I'm going to access my channel slash at sign few steps and hit enter key and here we are seeing that the website is coming nicely. So that means the internet is also working for this VPS and we are accessing through RDP. So this windows VPS is completely free. We don't have to pay any single penny or we don't have to use any credit card to get this thing. And if we want to check the details whether this is really windows server or not we are seeing here. Windows Server 2022. So th this is the latest version of Windows 2022 Windows Server Edition and here we are seeing. So that's it guys. In this way we can easily create the VPS with RDP and it's completely free and free. You don't have to pay, pay any single penny or you also don't need to use your credit card. Thank you guys for watching the video.